My colleague Shibu Kumar Tripathi, who is the Senior Assistant Editor Science, is now live with me from the national capital. Shibu, the first question. How easy or difficult will it be for the Crew 10 to bring back Sunita and Will Pichmore? Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, the mission is definitely very, very difficult. Uh, space travel is always difficult. It's never easy uh, to say the least. Uh, the Crew 10 this morning launched around 4.30 a.m. They now have about 26 hours of flight ahead of them. Uh, they go around the planet and then rendezvous with the International Space Station tomorrow morning sometime around 9, 9.30. Uh, after that, they uh, uh, enter the space station. Uh, a handover process will take over. We have to know that uh, Sunita Williams was the commander of the space station till now. She recently gave the command to the Russian cosmonaut. And the new team that will uh, arrive at the space station will take command. Uh, post that, there is a long... Uh, close to about four to five days of handover period during which all the science experiments, all the uh, data, all the uh, research that has been done on space station will be transferred to the new crew. The new crew which has brought all their cargo payload will be transferred into the space station. And then uh, a final date will be announced as to when the commander, uh, when com uh, crew nine, uh, which also includes Sunita Williams and astronaut Bush Wilmore, will begin their return journey. Uh, this return journey is again uh, also very, very difficult. Uh, the re-entry is... Uh, uh, an extremely difficult process, which will take a few hours before they splash down in uh, in coast of Florida. So it, it's a long process. It will take about a week before this entire mission is complete. We have just uh, begun the entire process of relieving uh, the, the current Crew-9 uh, space station members. Right. Shibu, you know, also we had heard talks earlier that Elon Musk owned SpaceX could actually be roped in for the rescue mission. We are seeing that happening now. Now, has this put SpaceX in the space where it has become a major player now? It, it already was, but with this rescue mission and, it, and if this happens without any kind of glitch, then do you believe SpaceX has made a space for itself? Uh, Elon Musk, uh, like SpaceX has definitely made a, uh, a name for itself. Uh, we need to see that SpaceX has been the biggest contractor for NASA at the moment. Uh, before SpaceX, NASA used to do uh, space shuttle missions, but that ended in about 2011, forcing NASA to go to Russia. Uh, Russia uh, used to launch American astronauts. That's when Elon Musk came in, uh, stepped in with his uh, Falcon 9 uh, rocket and the Dragon spacecraft. And for the last four, uh, four to five, six years, he has been consistently sending crew, cargo, private missions to space. At the moment, uh, Elon Musk is one of the biggest uh, players in the space game. Uh, Jeff Bezos' uh, Blue Origin is slowly picking pace. Uh, we also need to see that uh, both uh, Elon Musk and Boeing, uh, both SpaceX and Boeing got the contract to make reusable, uh, got the contract to make a spacecraft to send and bring back astronauts together. Uh, however, uh, Elon Musk has been leaps and bound ahead when it comes to developing the entire system. Uh, the uh, the Starliner spacecraft in which Sunita Williams and Butch Wilmore basically travelled to space station in June last year was on its maiden flight. Uh, this was a certification flight uh, to certify that the spacecraft was fit to send and bring back astronauts to and from the space station. However, what we saw in the hours after the launch was that there were several technical mishaps. This has now placed Elon Musk as the prime player in the entire game. Uh, especially with with the uh, with his inroads into the White House with President Donald Trump, uh, he is at the prime spot uh, to in this space, space exploration, not just in the U.S. but I think across the world at the moment. Shibu, NASA has been at the forefront when we speak about space space missions, but the past nine months have been very very difficult for NASA. Questions are definitely being asked about what went wrong and what is the future of these kind of space missions. Uh, definitely, when Starliner launched, uh, astronauts Sunita Williams and Butch Wilmore were the first astronauts to basically fly this uh, spacecraft. Uh, they knew they, they, this entire mission comes with uncertainties. They knew that uh, there could be issues with the Starliner, and it's expected. They, they, uh, these, these things are calibrated into the uh, planning and processing of the entire mission. However, what we saw was uh, several of the thrusters, basically the mini engines that are used to orient the spacecraft uh, to move them forward and backwards, developed uh, several snags. Uh, there were helium leaks that were seen on camera uh, coming out from the Starliner spacecraft. Uh, Starliner Boeing at the moment has been uh, suffering to fix these issues. And that's where SpaceX has come in. They have uh, made a spot for themselves. So definitely, these, these are difficult missions. Uh, these take time. Uh, at the moment, Boeing has not given any clarity as to what issues have they fixed so far. 
when can we expect the next uh, uh, mission uh, to take place uh, in the meantime uh, elon musk spacex is moving uh, leaps and bounds ahead shipo one of the last questions i would like to ask you is that once back on earth are there major health issues that both the astronauts will be facing because that has been a big concern we have seen those photographs coming out and they do not look healthy so the big question a lot of people now have in mind will there be health issues once both the astronauts are back on earth uh see we have to also understand that uh, this was an extended mission uh, both the astronauts they had gone on the uh, on the space station just for an 8 day mission this is now extended for about 8 to 9 months uh during a recent press conference both the astronauts said that they are healthy uh, nasa has a specific diet uh, extreme regulations uh, exercises that are designed just for the astronauts living on the space station they have special gym equipments that they go through they have to do exercises on a daily basis however uh, they have been in space for 7 to 8 months without feeling any weight they have been in zero gravity so once they enter earth the first thing that they feel is the extreme pressure and uh, the struggles of gravity that they'll have to face Uh, both the astronauts have said that this will be a day by day recovery process uh, so we also have to see once they splash down in coast of florida uh, spacex and nasa will put them in a quarantine for about a week uh, after that they will come out they'll be uh, going through several health checkups uh, we have to also see that a major effect of uh, st- space travel is on the bone density uh, secondly your cardio cardiovascular system also uh, suffers the impact of long duration space travel Uh, NASA, SpaceX, and several space agencies across the world—they are doing uh, research on how long-duration uh, space travel affects your body. So definitely, it will be a day-by-day process to recover, and uh, it will take them several weeks to months to fully gain their uh, uh, pace uh, and the feel of the gravity once they land on the planet. Um, um, in a in a justful manner, even uh, astronaut Butch Gilmore went on to say that even lifting a pencil would be like doing a workout once they land on the planet. So yes, there are several uh, health concerns, but they are all taken care of. NASA is very very particular about this. They are very particular when it comes to astronaut health. So uh, we'll see how long they take to recover because the, the the mission was unplanned. The mission was it came on the go. So it will take some time for them right. to recover. Right. Thank you, Sibu, for giving us all those details and also putting things in perspective. The big question everyone at the moment is very closely looking at: Will the mission be successful? And second, what will happen with the health of the astronauts once they are back on Earth?